Recently, I recorded a three-part series where I repaired three Razor electric scooters that were in various states of disrepair, where each scooter had their own unique problems to solve. The third scooter was a Razor E300, and it had been modified by someone else to have a bigger motor, and the speed controller had been removed. I assumed that the bigger motor blew the speed controller up, so instead I wired up a relay. For those that are interested, you can view the entire third part of the Razor Revival series by clicking the following link. However, if you want to instantly see how I wired up the relay, then this video jumps straight to the solution for you. I've uh, been looking at this relay and I've, I've kind of like plugged it. And if we look in close here, you can see that it's got, uh, got uh, I hope you can see that it's got 85 and 86 is the uh, activation part of the relay. Um, and then with the shunt, it's got the uh, 30 to 87. So around the back here, I'll just show you what I've done here with these connections. We've got uh, 85 and 86, so these two here. And I kind of think what I want to happen is I want those to connect up to the throttle trigger. So if you trace through here and then up all the way, you can see that connects onto the the throttle up there. So I've connected those up there, got 85 and 86, um, coming onto the um, the actuator part, and then, well, okay, what well, I'm gonna need to get, these are 24 volt motors, so I'm gonna need to get 24 volts um, going onto the drive motor. So I've connected then the one side of the motor onto the relay. Um, and then the other side's gone here. Um, so um, these these uh, motors, these uh, motors, 24 volts, so the batteries are going series. And the other thing, because it's actually a, a 12 volt relay, what I've done with this wiring, you can see I've, I've kind of hooked up the power to go up to the um, controller. Um, so it'll just come off one of the batteries. So you've got 12 volts to power, um, and then this is effectively the jumper lead to go between the two batteries, between the plus and the minus. Um, and you can see one of the, this, this wire will, just, um, will be the um, exciter side, uh, which will then just pair up with um, one battery. So basically this will be the plus and the minus there on those two the jumper across to the other battery, putting the two batteries in uh, series, and then we'll get 24 volts going through the relay. So I'm going to uh, um, hook the batteries up now. So as you can see, I have 12 volts coming off of the left battery to the throttle connector. The throttle connector output then goes to the relay pins 85 and 86, which are the activation part of the relay. I then have the shunt of the relay, pins 30 and 87, where I've connected pin 30 directly to the motor and 87 to the negative of the two batteries in series. I've then connected the positive of the other battery, which will be 24 volts, to the other connection of the motor. Thing. As you can see, wiring in a relay worked a treat with the bigger motor E300. In the future, I intend to produce other specific Razor how-to videos on how to fix other specific problems. So if you are interested, feel free to subscribe to my channel for new content. Finally, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this solution was actually part of a Razor Revival three-part series, where I repaired three Razor electric scooters that were in various states of disrepair. If you haven't yet seen this series, and are interested, you can follow the following link to the Razor Revival series.